rosemary plant, agroplants.org, also known as Salvia rosmarius or Rosmarinus officinalis. So in the past it was the genus of uh, Rosmi Rosmarinus, but they changed it uh, to Salvia. Apparently they done some uh, test, but it is not why we are here. We are here to learn how to grow this. So let's start with some information. So this is shrub. A perennial evergreen used for the edible plant, uh, leaves. Uh, the leaves are fragrant and the flowers attract pollinators. Can also use as a ornamental ornamental plant and some uh, varieties can use as a ground cover. You can grow it in variety of cli climate, Mediterranean, subtropical or temperate climate. In a hardness zone of eight. To 11 and possible in even in 7b with the right over winter care if you would like to grow it there is a link below link in the right top side and if you purchase this is donation for the for this channel also don't forget to subscribe it's really really helped me to continue and create more videos so the leaves can be usually dark or light green a uh, two to four centimeter they are narrow and with strong flavors. The flowers uh, color can be purple, blue, pink, small flowers uh, grow on the edge of the stems uh, in uh, groups and attract a lot of pollinators. When all the plant is blooming you will have a lot of pollinators, uh, a lot of bees and this is this is always good in a garden. Uh, the shape of the flower is like a dancer, little dancer, uh, of course with imagination. Except this, uh, the plant requires well-drained soil. You can uh, start to grow it by plant seeds or cutting. Uh, also bending a branch over uh, and cover it with the soil. It's possible if you want to start by cutting, possible to do it by water or by soil. When you choose to do it by water, don't forget to switch the water every two days, let's say. Uh, better you switch, better it is. Don't move it too much. So we are always in this paradox of moving it too much and a good viable water and not standing water. If you put in, put in a soil, better to use root growth hormone, but it's not must. Uh, and to do it in the spring. Keep the high humidity and spray uh, with the water on the plant and the soil, of course. Uh, you can start to grow it by seeds, but... Uh, I think it's harder to grow it by seeds than just cutting. It's so easy the cutting, so there isn't reason why not to. Uh, be aware that the plant have is aggressive and have a allopathy quality. It's good if you don't want bad weeds growing next to it. It means that usually you won't see a lot of things growing under this plant because it's just killing them softly. Uh, planting season will be in the spring. Uh, in hardiness zone of 7b to 8, spring to summer in hardiness zone of 9, spring to autumn in hardiness zone of 10a, and all the year in hardiness zone of 10b to 11. Major pests are aphids and ants. Uh, pruning season can be all the year, but better in the autumn, the winter, and after the blooming season. Uh, pruning mostly is for design, dead leaves and flowers. Uh, I mostly mean not the flowers itself, no point, they are falling off, the the area that the plant bloom. And when harvesting, it's better to pr prune the flowers, don't let it bloom. Size of the plant can be, depends the variety. It can be from 30 cm to 2 meters, so it's mean 12 to, to 80 inches. In the right condition, it's a medium growing plant that requires small to average amount of water can also grow with big amount of water, but with good drainage. Light condition uh, can grow uh, in a full sun or half shade. It will bloom less in half shade and it's uh, easier to harvest the leaves because with the, with the flowers it's just a little bit annoying. Uh, possible to grow it in full shade, but with big amount of light, with a lot of light and it won't grow uh, well, mostly just survive. Uh, so this is why the reason that I'm not sure if you can really grow it indoor or not, but uh, I know that people do grow it indoor with a lot of light. It's possible to grow it, but better next to a window if you choose to. 
uh, growing uh, in containers uh, possible from 8 to 18 liters so it's mean 2 to 5 gallons require average amount of water and uh, to keep the mo soil moist consider to put some mulch it can reduce the vaporization of the water and then you can put less water every 2-3 years just switch the soil or part of, part of it uh, don't let the soil be over rotten and don't let the it can grow in 8 liters but usually it will fill it is the choose that you need to choose every time that it's a full uh, the roots it's full just switch it or to a bigger container or cut some of the roots and the size of the plant uh, this is what I do because I don't want to grow it so much in the garden itself uh, depend uh, which one of the plants uh, depend for what reason but it's really take a lot of place and it's not something that I want to do because I want to contain it I have a limitation of what I can use with this uh, and it's raw, grow very rapidly so I don't really do use everything so blooming season will be in the spring summer and rarely in the autumn and even in the late winter um, as I said it attract pollinators the edible leaves uh, can be all the year uh, better in the spring uh, or when the plant is not blooming in the colder uh, wi winter uh, it's less possible in the winter itself there is less leaves possible but less recommend let's say you can use it for spice herb and even a kind of paste uh, with some things because if not it's a little bit uh, vicious the taste it's very very strong so mix it with something except this it's really really easy to grow there isn't special requirement it just mostly put and forget and it's easy to start by cutting and not uh, and also from seeds but i think cutting it's much better that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again